Amazon has jumped into the set-top box market with its new Fire TV. Here's how it stacks up against the competition. Amazon is investing in building out their catalog, but it's going to take them a while to supplement video that's already on Amazon Instant Video and their own original content. Roku's main focus is building out their catalog as much as they possibly can. This is all they do, and so they've put a lot of time and effort into building out the greatest variety of shows that they possibly can. Apple service is plugged into the iTunes store, which of course has a great variety of stuff, but it's not a lot of variety on pricing, and if Apple doesn't have it, you're out of luck. Amazon's killer feature for search is that you talk to the remote rather than having to hunt and peck to type in your search term. The Washington Post. But voice search doesn't work on all apps, and so that's something that you should definitely keep in mind. Roku search is slow, but it's also unified. So if you're looking for a title and you see that it's on a couple of services, you can click on that and it'll show you price comparisons and give you a little more information you may want before hitting purchase. Apple Search is pretty standard, but it's very easy to read uh, and easy to find the content that you want if it's on there. Amazon talked about gaming as a bonus feature, but it's clear that they're investing a lot of money and time into this. Um, they have their own game studio, and that's one of the the launch games that they have for this box. Roku has really casual games, most notably Angry Birds, but it does have a motion sensor in the remote control. Apple, well, they haven't quite gotten to games yet.